Hi, I'm Lynn Mann, presenting to you Outlook 2010, Getting Your Email Organized. Microsoft Outlook 2010 is a wonderful application that allows us to communicate with one another. If your email inbox looks anything like mine, you probably have a lot of communications, some that you want to keep and some that clutter up your inbox. Today, you'll see a few ways of getting your inbox under control and manage future emails. Microsoft Outlook 2010 gives us numerous ways of looking at our inbox. We can say how we want the layout to be. We can change some of the settings. We can arrange our emails in a certain way. But before I go into that, I want to talk about the most important thing when sending out emails, the subject line. Here we are in my inbox, and as you see, Right now, I have 4,281 emails in my inbox. You can imagine, if nobody put a subject line on, it would just be a complete mess. But I can tell you, I do have numerous folks not putting a subject line on their email, and it makes it that much more difficult to, number one, figure out the importance of the email before reading it. Secondly, if I need to go back and find something, uh, I remember who sent it to me, but I just don't remember which date they sent it to me, not having a subject line does not help. So what I would encourage everyone to do is this is one thing you can control. Every email that you send out should have a subject line and you should create a protocol on what that subject line is. For example, when I send out an email, I, I work for multiple departments, so number one, I put which department this email is in relation to, what it is that my subject is, and then if there is any needed by date, I include that in the subject line. That way the reader can see, oh, it's coming from this department, this is what they want, and this is when they need it by. It makes it very, very easy for them to organize and mark importance on their side as well as when they reply to my email, I have some inkling as to what that email is about. For example, if I scroll down in my inbox, I can find, uh, let's see, here's one. Here's a perfect example. This is from one of my book publisher representatives, and I requested a desk copy from them for one of my, my instructors. So my subject line is SJC, that's the location, CIS department, what I wanted, and when I needed it by or what term it's for. So then when Stacy replied to me, I can go ahead and uh, get that back from her and I know exactly what it's in, re in regard to. I don't suggest putting multiple subjects in one email. For example, if I need some a desk copy from Stacy and then I need to discuss something else regarding the publishing and if I need this, it makes it too confusing and for her to organize and set it up in her importance level if my email talks about way too much stuff. Plus it'd be a long email and nobody wants to read long emails. So try to limit an email to one subject matter if you can. So let's talk about the layout, the look and the feel of it. Right now I have my email set. I'm going to click on view and you'll see that my view is set to compact. That's the default, compact. So it gives me a viewing window. I can have this uh, reading pane here or not. I can have it to where it has one, the subject line on it. Okay. I can also change it to single, which it's one line. So it gives me from subject received. I would need to probably squeeze down my reading pane just to be able to see everything. So if you prefer this look where it's all on one line, you can change it to single. You can also look at preview. What this does, it gives you a little idea of what is in the email. And you see, it doesn't do it to all the emails, just some of the emails. Okay. I don't particularly care for that preview. So I actually like compact. Compact is fine. 
or single. Uh, the other thing, which is really cool, under View Settings, you can choose which columns you want to see. So right now I have the importance, believe it or not, I have a little importance there, which is this first column, and any of them marked with an exclamation point means that they're high importance. The down arrow means that they're low importance. A reminder if there's any reminder set on them. The icon to show if it's been open or not. The attachment, who it's from, the subject line, when it was received, the size, and the category, and if there is a flag. Well, I really don't need the size, so I can remove that one, but perhaps I want, okay, who's CC'd on it, if there's any CC, and I can move this up to where it's, uh, let's see, right here, and I say okay, say okay. Now I can see if anybody else was CC'd on the email. You may want that field to show. If you don't, you can go back to View Settings, Columns, and remove the CC just by saying Remove. You can create a new column if you want. But generally speaking, I do like to know who it's from. I don't necessarily need a reminder, so I can remove that. Just trying to clean up the look and feel of my inbox. Uh, I do want to leave the categories. I want the flag status to stay and I do want the subject line. So I want to keep everything else, but as you see, this cleans it up just slightly. I might or might not want the attachment, but it is nice to see if there's an attachment there. So the other thing I want to show you is in view settings, a really cool thing is when you go down to conditional formatting, you can set up a rule, and right now I'm going to add a rule and I'm going to say it's to me and the condition is if it is sent to me only so right here the only person on the to line okay I can say okay if I have only items that are unread only items that have attachments whose importance is you can say high importance but I actually just want to say if it's to me I want the font instead of the default of black I want it to be blue and I say OK okay I'm gonna set up one more rule one more conditional formatting here I'm gonna add I'm gonna say CC to me and I want my font I'm going to go ahead and change it to green right now. Maybe this darker green. Oh, well, that's too hard to see. So yes, maybe a fuchsia. There we go. And in the condition, I want it where I am CC'd with other people. That's fine. And then I'm going to set up one more where I want it to me and more, so if there's more than one person, I'm going to change this to, let's say, a, not to a teal. I'm going to say OK. Where it is to line with other people. Why am I doing this? Because when I set all of these colors, here's what happens. Now, remember, the blue was to me and only me, so I know that is a conversation they're having with me. If it is teal, it means that I'm included on the two line, and if it's in magenta, I'm on the CC line. It helps me organize importance and which email I'm going to reply to first. So right now I have 92 emails that I need to get to, and if I'm the only person that it's coming to, I probably should get to it first. It also meant, depends on what the subject line is. So the other thing we can do to help us organize our inbox is to show these emails as a conversation. So that again is on the View tab in Conversations. You just click on Conversations. And I just want it to this folder. Not all my folders, just this folder. What will happen is Outlook puts these it, these emails instead of where they're sporadically in the inbox
because of course you know maybe I sent out an email and somebody replies and then I reply and then maybe a day later they reply instead of having them all spread out here's the conversation with Stacy is that the first email we had was in uh, May and then I sent another one in August and August again now it's in a conversation to where the whole entire conversation is in one location this helps me keep everything in track and you can see that anything where there's an arrow are more emails underneath it so let's see if I can find a nice conversation here so if I can expand this conversation there's a few other people that are involved in that conversation here's another one several people that are involved in that conversation as well so it's all in one location and you can follow the conversation quite easily now we can also view our email depending on the categories right now I don't have any categories set on the flag start date on the flag due date all I have to do is say click on it and I can say okay right now it's as a conversation by date but let's say I'm trying to figure out an email and I know who it's from but I don't know when they sent it so I can <clears throat> arrange my email inbox by from and now I can see okay I remember it was from a gentleman by the name of Bill Bergen will say now I can scroll down to Bill Bergen's emails and somewhere in here is the email that I was looking for so that is arranging it from I can also say a, a category if I have categories set categories will all be on top but I have no categories set if there's any flags I can organize it by flags again the flags will be on start so right now there's flag no start date is on top here's flag date set to today those are all been accomplished so those are all checked off and so those are the only two areas that I have but I can quickly look at all the ones that have no start dates or look at the ones that were due in essence today or if there was a start date and see if that if there are any that need to uh, be looked at but I actually prefer by date and with conversations turned on so let's review what I covered we setting a standard subject line allows us to organize our emails going out as well as the replies coming back in we can change the look of our inbox we can show our our email exchanges in a conversation and we can also apply color to emails to highlight the ones that are important in essence if it was directly to me uh, if they have a specific tagline uh, to a CC or more than me.